Hey y'all, welcome to this video. My name is Blake. Today I am doing my hair. I'm doing some faux locks and I'm so excited. Let's get into the video. So since I'll be leaving this style in for possibly two months, I've never really did anything like that before. I usually keep it at one month. I wanted to make sure I prepped my hair really good. Okay, so to shampoo my hair, I use the OGX Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Shampoo and the AG Hair Care Balance. I shampoo my hair like four or five times because I had a lot of like oily products and so I just wanted to make sure I got super clean. And to condition my hair, I used the AG Boost Conditioner. So then when I went in to detangle, I used one of my favorite leave-ins, which is the TGIN rose water soothing leave-in conditioner and i sealed in i just topped everything off with some shea cocoa butter mix this is by cantu and i just twisted my hair and let them dry and get a little bit of stretch because i won't be blow drying my hair for this style so now i'm ready to start parting my hair and i'll be braiding my hair I'm gonna be doing uh, like semi-circle rough sections i want the parts to be clean but not perfect and I'm also going to be using the FaceTiming Yourself method to part the back of my hair. I've been wanting to try this for a while and I finally have a reason to, so I'm going to get started on that. And that's how I'm parting the back of my head. It is so cool. I saw it on TikTok a couple of times, and then I saw Will on a whim do it, and it's actually life-changing so i just have this my ipad i'm using my ipad and a, another phone and i have a cord ready here to charge and then i have this phone on a phone stand and i have a phone charger on an extension cord plugged up into the wall to part my hair i'll be using a rat toe comb of course and the do most stuff foam i didn't want to use a heavy like edge control gel product because i didn't want a lot of buildup so i opted for a foam and this one has lots of holds so i thought it'd be perfect and i really liked it it gave like a nice natural hold and not too slick so my hair was still blending with the locks if you get what i mean so i'm gonna start attaching the locks I just finished prepping my hair and it's so cute like I actually I've been debating if I wanted to do mini twists for the longest and I just didn't do it because I was like it's probably not gonna be that cute on me but it's actually really cute and since I like took time to do the parts really nice it's like really cute so I'm definitely gonna try mini twists later on when I take these locks out so here is all the hair that I will be using for the crochet lock. I will be using the Free Trust Nita Distressed Gorgeous Lock. To wrap my hair, I'll be using Expressions Twisted Up Springy Twist Hair, and I'll also be using regular Spring Twist Hair. And for the curly ends, I'm using Shake and Go Naked Pre-Looped Crochet Hair and Deep Curl 8 inches. I've been working hard on these locks and I finally got into the last section. This is how they're looking like so far. I did do the knotless method and they are very flat, like super. I came across a TikTok video of a girl installing locks on herself and a method. I think she was doing this because she didn't have a crochet hook, but I thought it was really great for people who have long hair and don't want to wrap your hair all the way down the crochet lock and kind of defeat the purpose of having a lock already made because you have to wrap so far down. So with this method, you only have to wrap a little bit and it saves hair and time. Like I was able to move really quickly through all this. So here is how I did it and I'll include a link to the video if I can find it again. So the first thing to do is to rubber band your hair. Now you could crochet your hair to the end, the end through, but I don't want to do that because I don't want it falling out while I'm trying to wrap the hair around. So I'm just using a rubber band. I don't mind using rubber bands and I'm just going to create a loop with my hair in the rubber band. So you can just pull your hair up like that and create a loop. And this is also going to cut my hair length in half and I'll only have to wrap this far. 
It also is an easy way to attach the crochet locks to your hair and it is an easy way to get the knotless flat look. So to attach the lock, you just have to squeeze your fingers through the loop, open it up a little bit like this, and then put your fingers through the loop of your hair and pull the end of the crochet through your hair and the loop of the lock and then it's attached. And I imagine when I take these out, all I have to do is find my hair and unravel the, the hair that's on top. And then I won't have an issue. I won't have to like try to find this knot and cut it out. This also extends your locks a little bit. Like if you wanted them a little bit longer, which doesn't help me because I wanted them shorter. But if you want like a little bit more length, this method can also extend them. So I'm just gonna attach the rest of these locks to the rest of my parts. Once you have them all attached, they should look something like this. And it's like already starting to look like something. So like if you like the exact length and style of the lock that you buy, all you have to do is like wrap this part from here to here where your hair ends and you're done, it's so quick. To wrap my hair, I've been using the Springy Afro Twist hair, which is, it looks like this and I cut it in half. And to me, this is in between, this hair is in between spring twist hair and Marley hair. It's like the same pattern of spring twist, but has more texture like Marley hair. And then the other hair that I'm using is spring twist hair. And this hair is a little bit more silky. It's not really um, coarse at all. So I usually use this on top after I've already wrapped with this hair. So with all the hair that I did use, I do cut it in half. So even on the spring twist hair, I'll cut it in half because I only have to go so far down. Um, so I just cut that in half with scissors. So I just take a piece of hair, probably like half of this. I prefer to do like two rounds of thin pieces as opposed to one thick piece to wrap it around. I think it gives it more of a distressed look and adds more texture. So I take my piece of hair and I do crochet it through. You could just like start wrapping, but I don't want to risk it sliding down. So I'm going to insert my crochet hook. Um, like half an inch from my root because we're going for that flat look. So we don't want any bulkiness at the root. After I get the root secured, I move like quickly down because I'm not going for perfection. I'm going for like a messy look and I'm going to wrap it up and down twice anyways. So it's okay if you miss some spots. The like less perfect you do with wrapping it, the more distressed look that you get so I just go down 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 get this piece and I don't since I'm not doing it perfect sometimes my hair is like showing through like I don't know if y'all could tell but that's my hair underneath which I don't mind I'm gonna go over it again but like it just kind of gives it more of the messy look and I'm gonna wear a scarf and everything anyway so it'll be okay so that's what it looks like after one wrap and I'm just gonna do that one more time and then after the first piece, I don't crochet anything through anymore. I do make sure to cover the rubber band that's there. And some of my hair is light at the end, so I'm just gonna make sure to cover that up. And as far as like ending it off, the hair is so kinky that it just kind of locks itself into it. And you just like wrap it, roll it, and it's done. And that's it. So like you'd literally be done. Got them all wrapped up. So here's the difference on the ends. This is how the crochet locks come, and then this is what I did to them. So I made them a little bit shorter, and I reattached some curly ends. So now I'm just gonna cut them. And I also went for more of a layered look, so I have some shorter ones. And I looked at like how they fall naturally to see like which one should be the shortest or not. Because this one sometimes falls, even though it's in the back, it falls in the front. So this one is the shortest one. like that 
see had i known i was gonna cut these i didn't realize until after i wouldn't have bought such long ones because this is a waste something i'm trying to figure out like if i could save those but it's fine this one a little bit shorter Okay, and then this is how they look when they're cut. Now it's time to attach the curly bits, which is actually pretty easy because of the hair that I found. That already came pre-looped like this, and it has an elastic loop on the end. And so when I was looking at it in the store, I was like, I feel like I could just crochet the loop through, but since it's elastic, I literally just rubber like wrap it around like a rubber band. And I'm gonna go over it with some more of the spring twist hair to seal it but that's it it is described to be 100 percent human hair so you can do like a little bit with it that makes it more versatile and since it comes on this elastic band and it's human hair it's reusable so you can reuse these i'm definitely going to be reusing them i did shampoo it to get that chemical curl out of it and loosen it up a little bit The ends are attached, we're almost done. The last thing to do is just to wrap some hair around the end so it won't come apart. I don't use any glue or anything. Um, it's very secure because of the rubber band. So if you can see, it just needs to be wrapped so you don't, don't even need a lot, thankfully, because I'm running out of hair. So I just take a little piece, the same half pieces, and I leave the end a little bit overhang so I can wrap back up but just wrap it to cover it I don't crochet through it or, or anything because like I said this hair has like lots of texture so it kind of sticks to itself and wrap around to cover up the band and the weft part it is kind of like a small piece of weft on a rubber band so you have to cover up the weft as well and try to make it as small as possible to kind of like come to a a point at the end so I've reached the end and I'm gonna go back up with that piece and if you wrap it until it's like strings and strings it'll stay by itself and then I had a little overhang so this I'm gonna wrap back up so this is what I mean by you want the overhang so when you fold the hair over to start wrapping you want it to go past where you're gonna end so you can then bring it back up and make sure everything is secure this is important to have the a piece at the bottom and bring it back up because this is gonna keep it from unraveling and like pulling out and falling down so when you fold the hair over make sure one side is long enough that it goes past the weft so you can bring it back up if that makes sense so it looks like that and it's like a seamless end so this is what the full lock looks like very distressed and messy and the messier the better honestly This was such a like pleasant hair styling time. Like normally when I'm, when you have to like install like long-term styles or protective styles, it's just like back aching, eyes hurting, takes forever. But like this was actually pretty pleasant and I really like, I'm in love with the results. I love the knotless method. I love that they're light. I love that I didn't do them too tight and scalp myself. I When I did those ginger locks, I did them way too tight and they were so heavy and it was so uncomfortable and I was like, I'm never doing locks again. I love the curly ends. That worked out really well. And I love that they're human hair so they won't like 
get knotty and stuff and I can like brush through them and take care of them so they'll last. Um, and I love that I won't have to do my hair for a long time. I'm gonna keep these in for a while, y'all. Oh, I can't wait to do all the hairstyles. Do you see how flat that is? A low ponytail would be so cute. I love that I added the layers because I was a little scared, but I really wanted it. And so it's just giving a little bit more interest. I love the length. I just love them. Oh, the hairstyles are about to go crazy. He goes, what? Oh, and the parting was such a pleasant experience because I could see. This is just a good time, honestly. All right, y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.